Well, I'm going to show you how to make these gift boxes for holiday treats um, in case you have neighborhood gifts that you want to give out. And first of all, to make this box, you're going to need a box. And I got these from the dollar store. They come in a pack of four for a dollar. Um, they're just normal little gift boxes, you know, cheap cardboard boxes. Um, you need one of those. You're also going to need clear plastic wrap and a utility knife or an X-Acto knife and a ruler or a straight edge doesn't actually have, you're not really going to be doing a whole lot of measuring so just something that you can use to cut along with um, and double stick tape uh, let's see and then if you have them decorative scissors or punches are really useful uh, but they're not necessary okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so you're going to take your box and I just have a scrap box that I messed up with that I'm using as my cutting board. But um, you're going to take your box from the back and use your ruler and your exacto knife. And you're just going to cut out a little hole, a little window, rectangle. Um, and it's nice because with the box unfolded, you can actually kind of use it as a guide. So, all your, so your window ends up being straight. Um, so I'm just doing it about half an inch from the edge here. I'm just using my exacto knife and going along my ruler just help me make it straight because we all know I can't cut it straight without a ruler um, and I'm just going to do that all four sides of this rectangle and one nice one thing that I th think helps a little bit is to go a little bit past the edge on the corners to cut just a little extra past that way you get a nice crisp corner because no one's really going to actually see now, don't throw away the piece. You're actually going to use this to do the decoration. Next, you're actually going to take your piece of plastic wrap. It's going to cut off a piece. You know, not to be exact with it, you're just going to just take it and then throw it to the side because you actually don't need it for a moment. Sorry. Right. Um, you're going to take your double stick tape and just go and run a strip along each of those four sides. and hopefully it won't run out on you in the middle of your tutorial. Okay. And then, you're gonna take your plastic wrap. And what I like to do is I like to take it and hold it tight along the top of it and just put it down just along the top. And then to make it straight, I'm just gonna pull on the exact opposite side just in the middle. And you're gonna pull it pretty tight and it's pretty forgiving so you don't have to worry too much. Um, at least my, my tape is pretty forgiving. Yours might not be. Sorry if it isn't. And I'm just going to pull it across. I'm going to do the opposite side first, and then I'm going to do the sides. I'm going to come over and do the sides, kind of ease out those wrinkles that happen in the corners. And so from the front side, you can see just a few puckers here in the corner. I'll go ahead and take care of that. But for the most part, it's pretty smooth. You might not be able to see that on film, sorry. Just just trust me on this one, I guess. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife or utility knife and just very lightly score the edges. Um, just touch it really lightly. Um, it's just going to help me cut off the excess plastic wrap. Okay, now I'm taking this extra piece that you cut out and I'm gonna just, just gonna trace around it um, on a piece of this is cardstock. I don't know if I actually put that in the supplies, but hey, cardstock is really nice. Something colored. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I uh, you're just gonna use that. I'm just making a little frame to go around the edge of my little window. So I'm just gonna take it and trace around it. And then same as before I'm just gonna cut it out with my exacto knife and I recommend using your ruler um, because no matter how straight I draw the line I know I'm going to cut it out crooked no matter what and I'm going to cut just inside the line that I've drawn because I want the frame to be just slightly smaller um, just slightly smaller than the window so that way I don't see um, the edge of the thing underneath it the bo actual box underneath it um, so I've cut out my little window um, for my frame but it's a little too wide on the inside, so I'm just going to trim it down. I'm just using a little paper cutter. Um, 
If you don't have one, scissors are fine. Just draw a line with your ruler. It's really not a big deal. Um, So I've trimmed the edges, and now I'm going to just go ahead and decorate it. What I did with this frame here is I go ahead. I went ahead and used just a border punch. Um, I have one from Fiskars that I really like. Um, this time I'm actually going to use some decorative scissors. Um, I just think they're really fun, useful. These are from Provo Craft. It's a large wave. Uh, to start with, I'm going to go ahead on the back side of my frame where I already drew on to cut out the little hole. I'm going to draw another line on the edge just to, just as a guide to cut with my scissors. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my decorative scissors and I'm just lining the the top of the hill part of the, <laughs> the hill versus the valley. I'm just lining up the top part of the the scissors um, along the line just so I can make it straight. And I'm just, as I go along, I'm just trying to match up where I last left off with. So it all ends up being even. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. Okay, when I get to a corner, I'm just going to kind of match up my scissors. So that it kind of looks nice. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just it looks kind of nice. It's even-ish. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going. Okay, now I'm just going to glue my frame, it's all cut out now, on top of my little window. So here we go, just double stick tape. Whoops! And that would be the end of my double stick tape, good thing I'm actually finished. And I'm just going to line it up. Um, and because the hole of your, your frame is smaller than the hole of your window, it makes it easy to line it up. You don't have to worry too much about it not being perfect. So there you go. You can just leave it like that. That's really cute. Um, or you can add more to it. I just cut out just a second. Um, just a few little snowflakes using a, uh, just a punch. This one's from E Imagination with an E. And I just cut these little snowflakes. And I'm just going to glue them on top, just, you know, kind of scatter them on. I like to kind of um, put a few that kind of encroach into the window space. So just to go over the edge, I think it's kind of cute. And that's it, really. You're just going to glue those down, and then your box ends up looking something like this. Um, you can use different pattern paper. You could do whatever you wanted, honestly. Um, I just thought it was kind of a cute way to decorate a box to give away holiday treats with. Um, and there you go. Merry Christmas.